Good morning, and thanks for joining us for another Eagle Eye. I'm Adam. And I'm Alicia. We're back with what's happening in the Valley. Most winter athletics and activities are mid-season right now. Let's see how they've been doing with Modi with the Eagle Update. Hey Eagles, it's time for another Eagle Update. This week, we'll take a look into academics, activities, and catch up with our Eagle sports teams. Congratulations to the One Act for placing second in subsectionals this past weekend. They compete at sections tonight at Eastview. Good luck to the Apple Valley speech team as they head off to Moorhead and Robbinsdale this weekend. Bring us another team trophy. With Eagle Day coming on the 9th, failure notices are going home next week. If you're missing any work, get it done and turn it in. Also, good luck to everyone taking the ACT this Saturday. In athletics, the Dakota Hawks CI hockey team beat the Humboldt Hawks 12-2 on Monday. The Dakota PI team plays tonight at 7 at Rosemount. The varsity cheer team is heading to Orlando this weekend to compete at nationals. Uh, we're hopefully expecting to make it into finals and place in the top five teams. Both boys and girls basketball teams will be playing at Eastview tomorrow night. Boys Swim and Dive has big goals for finishing their season. Uh, we're trying to get all of our relays to go to state and we're getting there. Their next meet is tonight in Prior Lake. AVRM is selling chocolate roses during all three lunches next week. Be sure to stop at the lunch table and check it out. Spanish Club meets on Tuesday in room 118 at 2.30. Anyone taking Spanish is welcome to come and take a part in this club. Um, this year we made a uh, typical Costa Rican dishes, some rice and beans, uh, chips and cheese, and uh, different kinds of arts and crafts. That's all for this week's Eagle Update. Thanks, Modi. Students are finishing up first rounds of registration this week. One class that brings STEM and arts together is Eagle Eye. Here's Sarah with the past and present students have to say about this language arts elective. When will I ever use this? A question that spills out of nearly every teenager's mouth. One class answering that question is Eagle Eye. We caught up with some graduates who are currently using the skills they learned in their college careers. In Eagle Eye, we all came together in order to make a really good show. So I've been able to use that in my college classes and everything. Um, it's how to, I guess, work in a team, how to really throw yourself out there and how to really become a better a better communicator altogether. I think a lot of times you don't think that you're going to use it out of the classroom, but like you really are. And it's, it doesn't really matter what your major is. Today, Maddie Berg is working with the Minnesota Swarm, and Alexa Hilt is working on a major in journalism. Uh, currently, I work at KVSC, which is a radio station down at St. Cloud. So I think without the skills I've learned in Eagle Eye and without the experience that I've gotten in Eagle Eye, I, I never would have gotten that opportunity. Whether you choose to go into broadcasting or pursue other dreams, the skills learned in Eagle Eye will prepare you for any career you choose. Taking this class has kind of like opened up my options a little more. I learned how to broadcast, I learned how to use camera correctly, edit, and elements of talent. Both graduates and current students agree that you build numerous relationships along the way. You make a lot of friends that you wouldn't normally meet um, outside of the class. and It's more of like a fun thing and you meet like great friends in here so it's not just like a boring class to fill up your schedule. From communication to leadership skills, Eagle Eye is a great opportunity to get involved, meet new friends, and be the face of F Valley High School. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Sarah Jarosa. Thanks Sarah, you can sign up for Eagle Eye for one or more trimesters. Give Eagle Eye a try. Some of our favorite stories to share in Eagle Eye are stories that show true Eagle pride. This week we learned about our wrestling manager. Here's Maddie with the story. With 21 state titles and two national champions, Apple Valley Wrestling is one of the top in the nation. However, the strength of the team would diminish without Bobby Genther. A special part of our team. Bobby's been around for a couple years already. Although Bobby is a wrestling manager, his role on the team goes far beyond the sidelines. Well, he calls himself coach every day, and if you ever call him anything different, he'll make sure you know about it. I think calling him Coach Bobby is just like calling anybody else coach. You know, he, he tells us what to do, and nine times out of ten we do it just because, you know, it makes him happy. Boys, fly over now. He's always in our corner yelling as loud as he can to help coach us, telling us what to do and stuff. Okay, hey, Dan. go, go, go ahead, go. Dan, let's go right now. Go. Sometimes we're kind of co-coaches together. I keep these boys in line. Keeping the team in line from the mats to the hallways. I see Bobby in the hallway. He'll come up to me like, you doing good in school? I'll be like, yes, Bobby. He'll be like, you better. I'm watching you. I want them to try and focus what they have to do. Focus in school, focus in grades, focus in sports, and everything. Yeah, Bobby inspires me. Sometimes Bobby makes me laugh, and sometimes Bobby just makes things light. I don't know. He's just like a big ball of fun energy to be around with. While the team loves Bobby. I love him with, with everything I have. Bobby loves his team. His team I love is amazing. 
Thanks, Maddie. Good luck to Coach Bobby and the rest of the team as they head to Lakeville South this weekend. The snow and the cold might be hitting us pretty hard this winter. We headed out to Buck Hill to catch a few AV snowboarders who are hitting the pipes and ramps even harder. I started snowboarding when I was in elementary school, so about nine years old. I go to Buck Hill because I would just want to learn more tricks and snowboard with my friends. I love the thrill of snowboarding and how much fun it is. It's something you have to push yourself to get better at. I hope I get my kids into snowboarding and I want to live in Colorado when I get older. Uh, the only way to get better is to try. So try it. Ask someone for some help and they'll get it down. Thanks for letting us join you, Ethan and Zach. Congratulations to sophomore DeJounte Lanier on his American Idol performance that aired last week. DeJounte's debut is bringing out the competition in lots of people. Let's take a look at who his American Idol competition might be. Just dance, it'll be okay. Do do do, just dance. Got your record, baby. Do do do, just dance. Dun 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 dun. Everybody dance now. We should be dancing, yeah. We should be dancing, yeah. We should be dancing, yeah. Dancing, yeah. You are the dancing queen. Dancing, dancing. I'm a dancing machine. Oh, baby. Every dance on that to the best song ever. Every move, every life, never can't remember. All right, all right. So maybe everyone can't be on American Idol, but if you could be on a TV show, what would it be? Here's this week's Valley View. Uh, if I could be on any show, I'd be on The Walking Dead. Workaholics. Is it Bumafu or Full House? I'd say Gossip Girl. Good luck, Charlie. I would be on Grey's Anatomy. Uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'd love to be on the blacklist. How I Met Your Mother. I'd be on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I'd be on Vampire Diaries. Well, that's all for today. See you in two weeks. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.